I remember in grade three and four and five, probably all the way till I till uh, till I started high school. I just couldn't accept it. My name is 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 Hannah. I'm 16. She would have been eight years old and it was shortly after we moved to Walnut Grove. She switched schools. There was a lot of stress on her at that time and suddenly overnight she had a real speaking problem. Hannah was in grade two and the teachers started hearing her stutter and they asked us about it. And Hannah never stuttered at home. I had this incident where I, a guest came came up to me and started to ask me a, a cool question. And so uh, and so I started to to answer her and like I was start, starting to 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 get stuck and so and so after she just start, just started to 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 completely mimic me and she just went on and on and 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 and, and, and what killed me is 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 I could not say anything because I was still in the middle of my shift. I felt stupid. I felt, uh, I just felt like I I just felt like I wish that I could have stood up for myself and just told her to stop it. Every person who has the problem will have a different story, a different set of circumstance, a different life history, a different set of attitudes, a different set of emotions. I was just freaked out and it was, I just remember be, be, be being so scared of what other people would think of me. I guess you could say I was ashamed of myself. It terrified her. She had very, very few friends. She didn't want to talk to people. She didn't want to communicate. She didn't want to go to school. She had a, she was in a split class, which was not the best situation for her. Many people have misconceptions about stuttering. They think the person lacks confidence. It's caused from lack of confidence. It's nervousness. And it's not, it's not that. The cause, even to this day, is really unclear. Um, it's been a debate since the beginning of when it was first documented. What's quoted is about 1% of the population, which I understand translates to about 60 million worldwide.
We've always said to Hannah, don't let fear be your boss. She would not be the person she is today if she didn't stutter. She wouldn't be as strong as she is today. When I'm on, when I am on stage, I'm just so I'm just comfortable, and it's really cool because I, I because I, I, I can speak perfectly. Like I don't get stuck in. It's just so cool. <laughs> I would never let my stuttering interfere with something that 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 I am that that I'm interested in. Because if I did let my stuttering interfere, it would just hold me back. I would just want the world to know for people who do stutter, just to never ever give up on something that you really, really would like to do and do not let anyone tell you that 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 you that, that, that you can't and for the people who, who do not stutter I would tell them just if you happen to meet someone that st that stutters just to be patient and to just and to just have some uh, some understanding for someone who just may happen to be a bit different. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Yeah.